The People's Cricket Show. I'm your host, Carl Pfeiffer, with my fellow hosts, Daniel Vogt and Marcus Burns. And God damn it, boys, we finally won! Oh, yeah. Woo! It tasted pretty sweet, isn't it, boys? The cream is tasting very <laughs> sweet at the moment. And uh, as you can see, we've already been celebrating, viewers. So, we've, we've cracked the victory at the Gabba. Our first win in, in uh, nine or ten tests, I reckon. And it was a, it was a long drought. It's certainly the first victory since we've been doing this show. Yeah, it's been a fucking it's long, dry run. It means a lot to us, but uh, <laughs> but no more. But Mitch Johnson, who was man of the match, man, and boys. pretty much come through for us. And we owe you an apology. At least I do. Oh, you, Mitch Johnson, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I doubted you. Yeah, you use, boys? Well, I always believed you. Oh, come no, on. <laughs> I told him that much over in South Africa. I said, you're the reason why we came over here. And he said, yeah, I know, I know it's good, boys, but you know, I just can't do it anymore. Well, guess what, Mitch? You can. <laughs> so we want to say that uh, to you. We'll now rewind to the uh, last episode where Daniel was uh, saying some pretty derogatory things about Mitchell Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> That's a talking point. Mitchell Johnson. I don't, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Yeah, let's move on. Can we, so, yeah. can we move on to uh, what I said about water in a few episodes well, ago? Yeah. Well, I guess and last can. episode. And he's finally done it. He's come through a main century. <laughs> he's come out of nowhere. Yeah, we're well, at Davey. I mean, we've always been behind Davey. Well, and, we've and always backed Davey. We've never been little Tim on this show. <laughs> no. He more is probably for that matter. No. <laughs> no, no yeah, Stephen. Steve, yeah, Steve, Steve, we've Steve, always been yeah. a fan of Stephen. Yes. Steve Moore is best gospel. tweet is, best <laughs> tweet is going around. Yes, There's no doubt about that. Anyway, let's move on to our over point. So it's, it's the uh, home test. It's the home it? test. We're it's, uh, um, I get, mean, it's really getting into the uh, local spirit. Uh, Red, Red, Devils, Red Devils are out, boys. The <laughs> book <laughs> special. And uh, the new stadium. What do you reckon, boys? It's yeah, looking pretty bloody good, boys. What do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been there, but... <laughs> But I've heard good things, Carl. Yes, as you can see from these photos, it's a very good looking stadium. We're very <laughs> proud of it. We're local South Australians. Yeah. And one other man who's a local South Australian is none other than the Red Devil himself, Dan Red. Woof. Woof. A yeah. great man. Has he's done good things. Yeah, oh, you can just see Woof all over his test team at the moment, just implementing desire and will yep. and ruthlessness. And not only that, and, uh, what I touched on this today during the coverage of, he sort of said Darren's just brought back a bit of fun. The yeah, first thing fun. he said to the boys was, you know, this is a this bit of fun. Time of yes. your life when you're playing cricket for Australia. Exactly. You know, so you, you just got to embrace it. And that's the biggest thing. I mean, Mickey Arthur, he was running a bit of a Regime, I believe it was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a know. concentration camp. Yes. <laughs> Defence forces. Was, I mean, <laughs> apparently he has been compared to Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, sorry if you're watching the movie, but, uh, yeah, but yeah. apparently uh, Adolf yeah. was a bit nicer sort of player. Yeah. <laughs> but they're playing around with seats. But they're unfounded <laughs> accusations, <laughs> Mickey, so just don't worry about it. Another man that's uh, got, in particular, our bowlers up and about, <coughs> Mitchell Johnson especially, is Craig Billy. McDermott. Yes. Now we love this man. Don't well, we do. We do. I mean, I saw him over in South Africa, and um, we were having a bit of a chat to him. He was just sitting there at fine leg, uh, having a bit of a chat. It's it's intense. Between overs, and um, yeah, the intensity was what oh. stuck out to me. Well, the, the, the <laughs> thing was, we were chatting away to him, and as we were chatting away, a uh, a chart went to slips and just fell short of slips and Billy, this steely glaze came over his eyes and he said to himself, I'm really tense, I'm like, like it was brewing inside of him, this just desire to win and be the best and well, that's what we need from our I mean, lives. I guess it's it's stressful thing cricket, isn't it? It really is a stressful game yeah. anyway. and it can get the, the, the better of us, but of course it can. And, and believe it, you know, these things happen. Now, 
to a much talked about segment. It's been the talk of social media, I believe. We're looking forward to this one. We really Quite are. Some time. We've, uh, it's, it's been a long time in the making, but we've finally got the great man himself onto the show. We've he's, dug him up. He's got his own segment, Craig Finch, <laughs> and this is the Gospel According to Finch. Uh, this test series because of you. You lead this Australian team like it should be led. Make them fear us. Act like because <laughs> we are. We are Australians. We love to win. We don't like losing. So, keep working at it. You got these boys up. They'll win this test series. England won't win shit. They need to win. They can't win. Do they know how to win? They are line sides stuffing up because they just bowl a line of length. That's all they do. Our boys, they're smarter. Our batsmen, they've learnt to bat. Get a bad ball, put it away! Dave Warner, pitiful, superstar. You blokes that judge him, you are complete wankers, honestly. He's been making centuries left, right and centre for New South Wales before the Ashes series started. Mind you, yes, they were one days, but he is in form. They picked George Bailey on one day form. What's the difference? Get off his back. Andy Flower comes out, coach of England. Wants pace, no sledging, no abuse, no nothing. Very next morning, what happens? James Anderson, you are a complete knob. Your coach the day before says no more sledging, we want peace. You come out and say, I'll defy, I'll never, never, ever give up sledging. You are an idiot. Our boys, I like the way you're travelling. Mitchell Johnson, you are a star, son. You keep bowling at their throat, go for the kill. Just imagine, we have Pat Cummings and James Pattinson in that side. And also Mitchell Stark. England, you are scared. You are very, very scared. You don't want to play here. You can't handle our decks. They're hard and they're fast. Bowlers get bounced. They bowl at you. You run away. We'll win this test series. Why? 5 nil. Why you say 5 nil? Because we're better than England. England are shit. They are shit. They have to win. They cannot draw test series now. They have to win this match. They won't. They have to dead bat. They won't. They have to dead bat. They won't. They love dead batting. They love to dead bat. They can't win a test series dead batting. Not now, not when they have to win. England, you're going home. Tails between your legs with nothing. You know why? Ernst staying here. You're shit. Thank you. That is the gospel according to Fitch. So certainly some very interesting views there for the boys. <laughs> could could not have put it any better myself. No. <laughs> well, intensity was the word just before we dropped here. And I'll tell you what. That was yes. intense. Yes. <laughs> Beautifully done, Craig. <laughs> so, well, well, what have we learned, boys? Uh, well, oh, from the last, last kick it off from the last and, um, text. Well, it's it's not you? so much something I've learned. It's probably something I've known all along. But the chin music, the chin, the chin, chin music is music cricket. Off. How much do we love it? I mean, it's back. It's back. We love it. <laughs> I've watched the uh, replay of Mitchell's short. Yeah, we looked it up the other night. Yeah, viewers. Times. Oh, we looked it up the other night. Week. It's on YouTube. Just the short balls in that last gabba test, and it's. Three minutes of brutally brilliant <laughs> view. Oh, he's got a bit of an edge in the way. Crash into the neck, bottom of the helmet. He's got his confidence up coming from around the wicket. Oh, oh that's a beauty. He's absolutely ripped. It's just, I mean, it's, it's abuse, isn't it? And that's what we love about it. It's pain. And, yeah. And, it's... and the pubs were shitting themselves. Yeah, yeah. That was the best part about it. So, Carl, can you tell us where you were, mate? Well, we've seen the pictures, viewers, of Stuart Broad and KP out the piss. Enjoying the Adelaide Nightclub. Yeah, down there. That's Chivago's. That's Chivago's there. Night. Now, I've heard reports of, uh, there's been some accusations of sexual harassment. Really? 
made against young Stuart, the strapping <laughs> young lad, from several gorgeous Adelaide women. <laughs> now, this stuff is so They were claiming Stuart made advances, tried to touch them. When he was approached about it at the bar by security, Stuart simply stood his ground and said, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. <laughs> Stuart. Yes. No, I'm not oh. walking. I'm not walking from this bar. <laughs> and you know what? I heard that the apparently the young ladies had no referrals left. <laughs> 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 yeah. it's definitely some very stressful times for the English men. <laughs> Which true. leads me brings me to uh, welcome our new sponsor of the show. It's our Swiss. If I had stress, you will feel better on Swiss. <laughs> You'll feel better on Swiss. Yes. Uh, it, is, it is stressful. It's a stressful game. And obviously some of the players are really feeling the pitch. Yes. Along with that host here. Yeah, yeah. well, I tell you what, I'm starting to feel a bit stressed out myself. <laughs> anyway, on to this segment I was supposed to go on to before. Lookalikes. Now, we're talking about Stuart Broad. It's a new thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been talked about a little bit. Um, Stuart Wait. Broad, well, <laughs> by various game. media, by various <laughs> media, God damn, Stuart Broad and the villain from Harry Potter, Draco Malfoy, have a look at him. <laughs> they are a, they are a carbon yeah. copy. So, uh, I haven't seen that movie, but I've always yeah. had him pitched as a bit of a tin tin for me. <laughs> that's, that's a little while. Where's Stowey? Yeah, well, Stowey. What about the next one? I can probably really... Yeah, associate this because uh, Joe Root. Joe Root. Who have we got here? Ellen. We got Ellen. 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 Look at this, viewers. They are a clone. That's a young, a young Ellen. He is her lesbian. He is her lesbian baby star. <laughs> and uh, is that legal these days? I don't know how she did it, but she did it. <laughs> anyway, um, Daniel. I mean, actually, Gary, I went outside. Gary Balance. Gary Balance, which was very close to earning a spot in the, uh, the Adelaide Oval English side. Um, we have an well, authority that he didn't end up getting. Yes, things. and there was a certain issue behind that. Maybe if you see this, viewers, as you can see, he is morbidly obese, much like this guy. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> Do so some fucking push-ups, Gary. Yeah, so <laughs> this has been just an absolute terrible hosting display by you, mate. <laughs> well, you, 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 you feel a feeling bit stressed, mate. Is that what it is? Getting really pissed off, all right? Like, don't push me anymore because, like, I'm going to need break from this shit otherwise. Can't. Look, <laughs> I, maybe you should stress a break. You'll feel better. <laughs> I can't handle this shit anymore. These barrages of attacks. <laughs> Fuck this, man. <laughs> He's out. He's gone out. Now, uh, there it is. Out. There it is, viewers. You've, you've if, seen the If best things there. just get a bit too much for you and everything's getting a bit stressful, then go on. Just go on. <laughs> Take the easy way out. <laughs> it happened just like that. Just like that. Your host is up. He's, he's <laughs> on his you way. Right there, Carl? He's gone home. No, Has he gone? No, no he's, he's coming back. He's, he's coming back. He's back. I just want to note up in Australia that I don't give up that well, there you go, there's a bit of a lesson for the English viewers. Exactly. Now, um, we're well into the Adelaide test here, boys. Australia looking shit up. Who's going to win the match for you? Well, I think a few things we need to look at is, uh, well, Les Burdett. He walked past the Rocky Mountains the other day and they instantly turned into a flat batting wicket <laughs> with a single stare from a man. So I think Australia can win, but it's going to be a hard fought battle and some really batting, a really batting wicket. He's probably, nice. he's probably dropped it in from his uh, backyard where he's been out with a roller every, day, every night. Well, he sleeps on that roller. He does. Yes. Yes. And uh, occasionally yes. he might get on a piss and do a few belters down <laughs> <laughs> Just to really flatten but it down. And, get out of the West <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but I think Clark will be a better match too, boys. Yeah, good well, back display. He's, he's, he's back in form and he's learned how to pull broad <laughs> <laughs> or tintin, should we say? <laughs> Putting tintin away, so. No, so we've we got a big part to play in the victory, that's for sure. Uh, Clarky yes. can't come through. I think we're in a bit of trouble. But I'm. I'm considering another draw, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> now, believe it or not, viewers, the lost 
footage from last week. This guy tipped a draw. Um, was that lost that footage? <laughs> it was lost. Uh, uh, conveniently lost. David we tipped a draw. But we after we were serious. After we won convenient. Convincingly, the footage was mysteriously lost, Daniel. So. Well, I'll well, please do Alright, sum it up, viewers. I've said we got written here Australia 2 0 oh, back. Oh. 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 We'll drink to that. We'll drink to that. Thank, Thank you, Aussies. Thank you very much for tuning in again, viewers. Follow us on Twitter at NightWatchman11, and we're now also on Facebook, so just look us up oh. there somehow. Oh. 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 Oh.